am Sonia and I help people take their power back. If you're interested in working one-on-one -on -one with me and want me to call you on your BS, all my coaching information is in the description below. I also go live here on YouTube if you want to come ask me your manifestation questions, check out when those are scheduled for, and be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Welcome to day 31 of Manifesting 101, where we are going to be talking about inspired action, following your intuition, and the present moment. I get this question quite a bit, but what do you do while you're manifesting? You live your life. When you're manifesting truly you live your life the thing that i got caught up on for so long was the whole inspired action thing is this inspired action and not a truly understanding that well if you have to ask if it's inspired that it's not inspired because i fucking get it when you want things to change you want to get them to change and you're used to having to do something in order to get a result it's very different to sit back and be focusing on your mindset and accepting that the quote unquote inspiration will show up. But I promise you it's going to. And when you do it, it's going to feel natural. I told the story in the last video about how I, when I wanted to become a YouTuber, I started telling myself I was a YouTuber. And then one day I was like, I'm getting my channel set up and I'm starting to record videos now. Like June 1st, I'm going to start posting seven days a week. And I've been posting seven days a week ever since then. It's the end of December when I'm filming this. And I don't have an intention at the moment to cut back on how much I post. But I didn't tell myself, okay, I'm a YouTuber and go, okay, well, what does a YouTuber do? Oh my God, maybe I should do this. Maybe I need to watch all these videos. Maybe I need to, it literally just unfolded. That's the only way I can explain it. It was like, okay, I'm, I'm going to set up my channel right now. Okay. So what do I need to do to set up my channel? I need to, I need to add, I need this question and answered. So I'm going to search this and figure out what I need to put on my YouTube page. Okay. How, where am I going to film videos? How am I going to film videos? Okay, well, and the answers just came like so naturally without me having to search for them. But that's because I was in the mindset and had made the decision that I'm a YouTuber. And that's how manifestation works. If you are not coming from the white right state, the right mindset, anything that you are doing in the 3D is you trying to get a result. And it's not going to work the way that you want it to because you can't change your present moment. The present moment is a manifestation of the past. All you can do is put the meaning to it that's beneficial to you. That's it. Inspired action is going to be stuff that feels exciting and is things that you want to do. This is where I believe personally it very much so connects to your intuition if you want to learn what you do in the present moment you start focusing on your intuition if your mindset shit is good you start focusing on your intuition listening to your gut feelings to your higher self to those little nudges this person asked me to go do this and i really fucking don't want to but socially or who, what would this person think? Or it would be wrong for me to say no, even though I don't want to do it. Following your instinct, your desire of being like, yeah, no, I don't want to do that. Or yes, I do want to do that. Even if like it's uncharacteristic of you. I always think of go being asked to go to a party. And you're like, yeah, I don't want to go. You say no. And you trust that making that decision was the right decision. You may not know why it was the right decision, but you trust that it was. You learn to trust yourself. Same with if you really want to go to a party. Say you're really not a party person, but you're like, man, I really want to go to this party. And you go. And even if you just have a really good time. 
honestly, the more in the present moment you can focus on doing things that make you happy and make your life now happy, the better off you're going to be because all you have is the present moment. Why are you putting off being happy? And I get it. I get it. I was in a position where I was like, nothing can make me happy. And until this and this and this and this and that happened, I can't be happy. Well, all that shit happened and I still wasn't happy. Because I didn't change me and I didn't change my perspective of things. Until I did that, I stayed on the same miserable hamster wheel. Changing things outside of me, but always ending up with the same results. When shit changed is when I changed me. And when I started honoring me and listening to my intuition, my gut feeling, the things that I wanted in the present moment. And that takes practice. It takes practice to trust yourself. But when you are manifesting, you live your life. All you're doing is choosing to view things as beneficial to you instead of being in that victim state of everything's going wrong and I can't have what I want and nothing ever works out for me. Because you're always right. And until you change that, nothing else is going to change. Thank you so much for watching. Love and light.